My lecture was on the subject of automorphic forms. Uh, I guess more specifically, uh, what's known as the Langlands program. And it's a branch of, uh, I guess, number theory, but um, it uses um, aspects of mathematics from many, many different areas. Uh, it's related to number theory, as I've said. It's related to algebraic geometry. Uh, it's uh, related to uh, differential geometry uh, through what is known as locally symmetric spaces. Uh, well, really, there's uh, aspects of the subject, uh, more techniques, I suppose, but, uh, 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 but uh, there are techniques that come from many, I can think of, I cannot think of many areas of mathematics that do not go into it. There's analysis, harmonic analysis, um, uh, differential geometry, as I've said, uh, differential equations. Uh, that was a large part of the work of the early uh, pioneer, uh, Harish Chandra, and uh, many other areas. Uh, I guess I just must have decided I wanted to be a mathematician when I was at the end of high school. Uh, I was always, I was, I was fairly good at it as a student, but not really superbly good. I was not, uh, they didn't have Olympiads when I was a student, and I would not have been, I guess, on an Olympiad team. But um, I just enjoyed the beauty of the subject. I enjoyed the power of it. Occasionally I saw things uh, on television or in movies that were sort of uh, talked about uh, secret formulas and uh, um, basically with mathematical roots to them. So I guess I was uh, struck by the power, and, uh, and I wouldn't have been able to say it in these terms, but the power and the beauty of uh, what looked like mathematics to me in those days. Well, I think that uh, mathematics uh, uh, is uh, growing at a great rate. There's, um, as we all know, there's, uh, mathematics has several roles. There's applied mathematics, which is very important for many different areas of science and beyond. And there's also uh, what is sometimes called pure mathematics, where uh, fundamental problems in mathematics are studied for their own sake. Um, both are very important. The, way, the area I work in is the latter, um, and it's governed by the curiosity, I guess you would say, of mathematicians that work in it. Um, but uh, that has actually sh shown to be uh, shown itself. That kind of curiosity-based research has shown itself to be very good, even for ap applications of mathematics, uh, because some of the deepest problems that end up being applied. Um, are not uh, attacked uh, by simply uh, directly, but rather um, they come from uh, theories of mathematics that came earlier uh, that were motivated by curiosity of mathematicians. And, and science works the same way, physics and uh, other aspects of science. Uh, some of the basic, uh, the most important things came from uh, discoveries that were earlier motivated by curiosity. So, so how, uh, where, did, <laughs> where does this lead us? Uh, the future of mathematics. Um, I think mathematics is uh, increasingly uh, um, playing a role in all kinds of subjects. Uh, um, um, it's, it's hard. Uh, it, it's not an easy subject to do. Um, um, it takes many years of training. And uh, I think there are more people that use mathematics or want to use mathematics than um, uh, people that have mathematics training. I mean, you can't ask a biologist or, or even a chemist or a physicist to sort of have spent 10 years studying mathematics, but often they need to be able to d draw on, on that kind of uh, uh, expertise. And so it's, um, it's hard. We, I think we need to uh, do what we can to uh, increase uh, the, the study of mathematics by scientists. Um, on the other hand, that's hard because they've got lots of other things they have to study too. But I guess I'm giving a long-winded uh, uh, answer to your question. Uh, the future of mathematics, it's increasingly uh, um, a fundamental part of an increasing number of sciences and beyond. And uh, fundamental mathematics, the study of mathematics for its own sake, is also going through 
uh, I would say, a really uh, exciting period where uh, increasing numbers of extremely good young people in mathematics are uh, tackling problems that uh, really would be beyond the reach of people 30 or 40 years ago. Very bright, but very exciting, but um, uh, a little bit um, uh, overwhelming in some sense.